If you were going to buy the baddest Chevelle you could in 1970, chances are you'd get the LS6454 V8, four-speed transmission, maybe even a convertible top. But most people didn't get that, which is why we're showing you this one, which has all of those options on Muscle Car of the Week. Many people see 1970 as the pinnacle year for muscle cars, and there's a couple reasons for it. There was a horsepower war that was brewing throughout the 60s, and muscle cars got more and more powerful. Uh, but by 1970, those numbers peaked uh, because in 1971, uh, the manufacturers started to retune the engines to run on lower lead fuel or unleaded gas, uh, and insurance companies were starting to put higher premiums on high horsepower cars. So 1970 really is kind of the, the pinnacle, especially for GM cars. Ford and Chrysler, the 71 model, still made a ton of power also. But the car we're looking at today is a 1970 Chevelle SS 454 with the LS6 454 under the hood. And this thing was rated from the factory at 450 horsepower and 500 foot-pounds of torque. The 1970 Chevelle had a redesign from 69. Uh, now it had a, a slightly different front end. The quarter windows were more squared off instead of the pointed ones that you'd see on the earlier cars. Uh, the tail panel uh, in the bumper, it had a uh, um, kind of a mushy plastic, what they called resilient insert, uh, which really wasn't much of a crash help, but it was just kind of an accent. Uh, but these cars were pretty cool because they, they were also more refined than the earlier ones. So they drove nicer, they were more comfortable, they had all the creature comforts, you know, you could order all kinds of stuff with them. Uh, plus the high horsepower LS6 V8. There it is. LS6, 454 cubic inch V8. 11 and a quarter to one compression, 450 horsepower, 500 foot pounds of torque. It's got an aluminum intake manifold with a, a matching uh, quadrajet carburetor. I think that flows about 800 CFM. Uh, rectangular port high flow cylinder heads high flow cast iron exhaust manifolds, high performance ignition and uh, plugs and wires. This one's coupled to a Muncie M22 Rock Crusher four speed manual transmission with a heavy duty clutch. Uh, it also has a 12 bolt rear axle with uh, 410 rear gears. Uh, this car also has the sway bars front and rear, power disc brakes, dual exhaust, 15 by seven rally five spoke wheels, raised white letter tires, you know, about every performance option you could get on an SS Chevelle, you'll see on this car. This one is uh, in its completely original configuration under the hood. This one even has the uh, air injection smog pump for California emissions. And it's funny, a lot of people were removing those smog pumps for better performance, and now on restored cars, we're seeing that stuff going right back on. But the other cool thing is that it's, like I said, it's very comfortable. It's uh, tuxedo black, uh, white SS stripes. Uh, it's a full bench seat in black. I mean, it, it looks classy, uh, but it'll take your pink slip at the stoplight drags. A lot of people bought Chevelles in 1970 to go racing, uh, but most of those were hardtop versions. This one's a convertible, so it's more of a luxury cruiser, because you could get a lot of options on these cars. Uh, this one has a power convertible top, it's got power steering, it's got power brakes, uh, it's got uh, the rally gauge package in the dashboard to keep you informed, um, AM FM radio, and outside it even has more options like the code uh, ZL2 cowl induction hood and this hood is famous for allowing a fresh gulp of cold air into the engine when you step on the gas. It's a really neat package. Uh, so whoever picked this car when they bought it new uh, checked all the right boxes. You could get a different 454 in a Chevelle SS. That was the LS5 package which made about 365 horsepower I think. Still a potent performer not quite as fast as the 450 horsepower LS6. Uh, these cars 
back in 1970 were clocked in the quarter mile, low 13 seconds at uh, 104, 105 miles an hour. Recently, we see people that build these things uh, to be completely bone stock and original with the solid lifter camshaft and all the correct LS6 parts, but with modern tuning and modern tires, and they're running low 12 second quarter miles. Uh, but one thing I thought was kind of fun is that Chevelle fans are familiar with a photograph that GM put out as a press photo that shows a Chevelle SS with the hood open and giant foam teeth as if to, you know, come get you. But if you look closely, it only had a six cylinder in the picture. Pretty wild. So driving this car around is definitely going to turn heads wherever it goes. And there's a handful of cars in the Brothers collection that also have kind of a celebrity connection. This is one of them. Uh, this car actually belonged to Charlie Sheen for a while before it ended up here but it is definitely one of the standouts in the Brothers Collection. So if you have friends that dig big block, four speed, drop top muscle cars, send them to our website at musclecaroftheweek.com or share these cars with your friends on Facebook. Everybody wants to see them and they're all there. You can also check out our YouTube channel. If you subscribe, you'll never miss an episode of Muscle Car of the Week and more badass cars like this.